What's going on guys, it's Dominic and today I'm going to bring you a brand new video telling you a little bit about some sort of craziness that happened to me today. So I had to work, standard like 5 hour shift or something like that. Not too bad, although I didn't eat before I went, I didn't drink enough water before I went, so I had like the worst headache in the world. And on top of that, because I work at a clothing store, uh, I had to wear like, you know, kind of like their clothing, you know, it's kind of like a more of an upscale clothing place it's not like a you know it's not like a rich person clothing store whatever but like you know they want you to wear their clothes and then what it doesn't matter it doesn't matter the point of it is i was wearing a pants a t-shirt and then a button-up shirt over top of that because that's kind of just like you know part of the style of the store so I was wearing, you know, very hot clothes. I was wearing two layers up top. One of them was long sleeve and I rolled it up. The bottom was pants, so it was hot. So I was hot, I was sweaty, I worked for five hours, I didn't eat enough and I didn't have any water. And so all of that combined gave me like the worst headache that I've had in the longest time. On top of that, I took public transportation back home. Uh, and because of the bus that I took, I had to walk about a half a mile from where the bus dropped me off to my apartment, which isn't that big of a deal. You know, I do it frequently and it's you know it's good exercise or whatever but like i said super super bad headache it was awful it was after sh my shift and everything and i get home and i eat dinner and i take care of my headache take ibuprofen or whatever and you know i log into my bank account i haven't checked it in maybe a day or two um just you know because I, I do check it pretty frequently almost every day not every day because that's like excessive um you know i do maybe every two second or third day just because you know i want to keep track of my purchases and see where my account balance is at that's pretty normal i would say and if you have a job and or a bank account you probably check it about the same amount as well i go on there i check i see oh my check was deposited from the other day i'm looking at a couple of transactions you know some pizza that i bought and whatever i'm looking um and it does say you know one transaction that i didn't really recognize and i wasn't sure entirely and this has happened before but the other times that this has happened i've been able to look at it and be like oh i wonder what that was i wonder what that was and then after a little bit of investigative work i realized oh this was whatever that thing was that i bought on ebay and like the seller is located in china or something like that you know i, I do frequently buy really really sketchy things on the internet you know i have a massive collection of japanese uh sex toys on top of that i've purchased many many different chemicals that can be used to make sorts of you know psychedelic drugs and really really just fucked up things like that okay obviously i'm kidding about most of that stuff but if you guys have used ebay i'm sure you know that you know th there's some times where you buy stuff and it's like a weird seller their their name is a different you know it's some weird uh you know foreign name that maybe isn't even in english or whatever there's just all sorts of different places maybe if you buy something somewhere you know maybe that company's headquarters is actually in a different place so it'll show up as a transaction from california even though you purchased it in new york or whatever the transaction that i didn't recognize today was some sort of car park place uh, um, apparently it was a you know a um, parking garage you know and I don't uh, it didn't give me that much information it just gave me like a little string of, of text it didn't say transferred from PayPal it doesn't say anything like that it was just you know a debit transaction um, it gave me you know the name of like the parking garage place and then it said Toronto as you guys know, I live in the state of New York, uh, and I don't have a car, so both of those things make no sense to me. But again, like I said, there's been weird names of weird businesses before, so I figured, hey, you know, let me just run through my memory, let me just run through my memory, my eBay purchases, see if I have any reoccurring monthly subscriptions that I forgot about, and let me just see if I can figure out what this is and if all of my actual transactions from the past few days are in fact encounted for. Encounted for? accounted for you dumb fuck. so again i go through couldn't figure out for the life of me what this transaction could be and it was like eleven dollars fifty cents something along those lines and they're just i could not figure it out and then it dawned on me about a week ago i saw a pending transaction from the same business so of course i go back in my account summary and i look and i find the same exact one uh that was pending a week ago this time it was actually processed through same approximately the same amount it was like 11.50 there was a bit of like a difference in in terms of like the cents or whatever but they were both pretty much 11.50 plus i saw an international uh, seller charge on my account for like 35 
five cents or something along, along those lines so this transaction that i saw about a week ago again like i said when i saw i remember seeing it a week ago and i was like oh that's weird but again like i said there are transactions on my account where i'm not entirely sure where it came from but when i sit down and think about it i figured it out so last week i didn't i was really really busy i worked a lot last week and i just didn't really have time to figure it out but i just assumed it's fine you know it's whatever i'm sure there was something that i purchased it makes a lot of sense so today when i found this transaction i remembered about the one from last week and like i said i went back and saw that it did get processed through so now i see that this is a second transaction from the same place for about the same amount of money and i'm thinking dude what could this possibly be there's nothing that i can think of last week i couldn't think of it and this week i really like dug deep and i tried to figure out like what could i be spent what is this money for that is classified as a like parked car type of thing in toronto canada like that makes no sense to me so of course i call my bank right and i get put on hold to take fucking forever um of course you know it is after hours i did get back from work after most banks are closed anyway so i did expect that um but you know i did give the lady all of the information I was like, hey, look, I just want to file some sort of dispute. I just, you know, ultimately, all I wanted to do was call the bank and just be like, hey, can you trace this purchase and tell me where it's from? Uh, but, you know, I couldn't do that. They just made me file a dispute because I didn't recognize the charge. Uh, and she basically was just like, hey, you know, did you lend your card to anybody? Has your card been recently stolen? Uh, things along those lines. And I was like, nope, I haven't given my card to anybody. You know, my, my card just is either in my wallet it in my pocket or it's sitting up there on on my uh dresser so there's no you know there's nowhere for anyone to use it nobody knows my pin code that has access to my card so you know th there's just no way there's no way i've been super busy with work my card has been on my person pretty much the whole time uh so there's no way someone could have stole my card so after giving her all of my information my name my account number and then i explained to her i was just like hey look there's two transactions on here i don't know where they came from and i was just calling to make sure that they were legitimate uh and basically Basically, she was like, okay, we'll file a dispute. And I was like, okay, cool. If that's what you want to do, fine. You know, if you want to, sure, let's do it. After all was said and done, I put got put on hold again. And she said something about them sending me a new debit card for, you know, increased security reasons. And she said they would get back to me in like 30 days and give me some sort of temporary uh, adjustment to my account and refund the money. Uh, I guess that was illegally used on my card. Um, and then after those 30 days, they are obviously going to have some sort of professional look into it and see what those trans transactions actually were for and come to a conclusion on whether or not uh, those were legitimate transactions or not. So hopefully this is all settled and done for. Obviously, I changed the password to my online banking. I changed my PIN number. I changed all of the information that I possibly can on my own end. Um, and again, no one has access to my card. There's nothing I can change about that. It was just crazy to think, dude. Like, what, what if, like, you know, what if I didn't realize this? Or what if this actually is someone using my card across the country or across the fucking world almost i mean and that's really what i think it is I, I can't think of what these charges are from and they are being charged from canada which i'm not in i'm not like they, this must be somebody somewhere trying to steal my you know money basically trying to i don't know pay for their fucking parked car in canada that makes no sense if you have my credit card information uh you would think that you would maybe buy other things other than just that but i i don't know i can't figure it out i don't know why they would only use it for that but hopefully now that i've contacted my bank uh they can you know prevent this from happening hopefully they will um just start declining any transactions that are attempted from anywhere other than my central location and i don't know why that wasn't done already Ready. that makes no sense to me I remember a couple of years ago I actually went to Mexico and before I went I had to call my bank and tell them hey listen I'm gonna be in Mexico for a week so all the transactions that you see happening down there you know those are all legitimate so please don't lock my accounts I need the money in my account obviously and they told me that was great that they would you know allow all transactions for seven days and all things like you know of that nature and it was perfectly fine uh, but had I not called them I'm under the impression that those transactions would have been declared Declined. again because of what I said you know they want you to call if you're gonna be traveling super far away or to a different country or whatever and I guess I do live close enough to Toronto you know it's only a couple of hours you know it is a, it is a distance that I could potentially drive uh, you know twice a week I guess if I wanted to um, so maybe that's why maybe because it's in driving distance they assume oh maybe he just drove up there and whatever but uh, it's a little bit weird it's kind of fishy hopefully this is the end of it uh, I do not want to have someone try to steal my 
uh, my money or my identity or anything like that that would just be completely fucked and I don't even have that much money to begin with you know and and the dollar is not even worth more in fucking Canada anyway so you know it's not like you know it's not like someone from from like Africa is stealing my money or from Mexico or whatever where like the dollar can get you more than it can get you here it doesn't make sense because Canada is a first world country but who knows dude who knows I don't know hopefully this is over with and if anything else happens I'll obviously let you guys know but I just wanted to show you you, I just wanted to share with you uh, this little story, little thing that happened to me today, uh, and how fucking shitty it is. And hopefully you guys will let me know in the comment section below if anything like this has ever happened to you. And if you have any suggestions on what I should do to better protect myself, like I said, you know, no one has access to my card or my account. Uh, you know, I haven't, you know, I don't really use it for anything. I don't ever use my account. Let me rephrase that really quick. I don't ever use my account for anything sketchy. I'm never buying any sketchy things online or anything like that. Uh, usually it's either stuff on eBay, which I go through PayPal or it's Amazon. Uh, and that's really it. Uh, there's only a handful of other th odds and ends that I would ever use my card for. Um, so I don't know how someone could potentially have even gotten my information, but if you have any methods or ways that I can be more safe, or if anyone can be more safe, drop, in them, drop them in the comment section below, and then other people who read the comments can also benefit from some, you know, knowledge that you might have on how to better protect yourself on the internet. Anyway, make sure you drop a like on the video. It really, really, really does help my channel, like, so, so, so much. So everybody who's been dropping likes on my latest videos, you are the real MVP, you're the real homies, and today, if you drop a like on this video, I swear to God, no bullshit, no joke, I will have my private helicopter pilot fly in the world's largest computer monitor to your house. This thing basically can be used in football stadiums. I'm telling you, this is the biggest monitor you could use in any given time. It hooks up flawlessly to your PlayStation or Xbox. It's totally cool. You are going to be the coolest kid in town because you're going to have the biggest monitor in your area code guaranteed no joke no scam play call of duty on the biggest monitor ever possible by clicking that like button definitely facts these are things will happen i can guarantee you it because i am a truthful honest person who's not trying to scam you for a like on the internet anyway thank you guys so much for watching this has been omniarch and i will talk to you guys later peace